What's up guys, Matt from Team VLR here. Uh, before I start the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, 401 Games. If you guys are in the market for anything Yu-Gi-Oh related, whether it's singles, sealed product, other things, uh, be sure to check out our website, 401games.ca. And if you guys are in the market for singles, use code TEAMVLR for 10% off your purchase. It supports the channel and we'd really appreciate it. Now, anyways, onto the video. So today I'm going to show you all my Dark Magician deck. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this. I was playing this before the entire world got shut down uh, at my locals. I've continued to tinker and play around with it online. And honestly, it's just been a blast. I've decided to go uh, the stun slash control route with this. Hence the inspector border and all the traps. I personally feel like that's the best way to go with this. That I think it's what Konami intended with the support at least with the dark illusion support after that they're just kind of all over the place but i think that was the idea for this deck is for it to be a back row heavy deck um and i've had a fair amount of success with this um it does have a there are a few advantages and drawbacks to this i think in terms of advantages like the deck has a fantastic matchup against Shadals because or any deck that plays them because you're rarely summoning from the extra deck and you can win entire matches without going into the extra deck once um border is just amazing against a bunch of decks he isn't your win condition he's just there to slow the game down but it is amazing against a lot of decks and in terms of the main deck there aren't a ton of decks that are maining back row hate I mean, so there are quite a few playing evenly matches. So you do have to worry about that, but that does help the deck a bit. Um, and yeah, I mean, I just think the deck is supposed to be played this way. Also, when you're if you do summon the Dark Magicians, there is a much higher chance of you actually drawing something useful off it, whether it's Judgment Strike, Skill Drain, whatever, Super Poly even, versus normal builds where you're not playing that much back row and you just end up drawing a card and just adding it to your hand whereas this the effect is actually useful so i think that's pretty cool um in terms of downsides well it's the typical stuff that comes with back row heavy decks you get blown out by things like twin twisters evenly matched lightning storm the list goes on and on so that is definitely a drawback um you also don't really have access to the Union Carrier and Dragon Buster Destruction Sword Lock that I've seen a lot of other Dark Magician decks play. We're just not special summoning that much. It's almost it's basically impossible to get off on the first turn. Um, but I feel like that's fine. I think the amount of back row we're playing really just compensates for that. But um, and I guess you can't play Allure either because you're playing Extravagance. But again, that's fine. You don't. I feel like those aren't really necessary. I think the deck should be a bit slower. I don't think you should be trying to combo off and make a cute little combo word with just Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, and Eternal Soul Set, I, and what's circled. I, that's just not enough. You need more. So I feel like this build addresses it. Um, let me know what you guys think based on the replays. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions. Or ways that I can maybe improve this deck. And um, yeah, be sure to check out 401 Games and stay tuned to Team VLR for more. Peace.